We're making ionic liquids. There's a form of bond, the ionic bond, the ionic which, bond. you know, you get it in salt, sodium chloride. Usually ionic substances are solid because the bonds are very strong. We know that the strength of interaction between ions is dependent on how far apart they are. And what that means is if we make the ions really, really big, the strength of interaction between them gets much, much smaller. Ionic liquids themselves were first synthesised in the 1930s um, and they kind of remained just a kind of chemical curiosity until maybe about 20 years ago. And it opens up this whole world of chemistry um, that is that is around now is being really delved into for lubricants and for and for solvents as, as a more eco-friendly solvent. We're basically given methods for making them and a few pre-made ones and we're allowed to do anything we like in investigating their properties. We don't need much more equipment than you would have for a typical uh, A-level practical, so just reflux equipment is all you need and some simple chemicals and the, the initial synthesis is really, really easy. Once you've got that done, it's down to the creativity of the uh, individual schools and the students and the teachers as well. You get to grips with things as you go along. So we just do different practicals and compare liquids, see what their properties are. So today we were looking at separating substances using chromatography. We've been trying to electrolyze it essentially because our main aim was to produce carbon nanoparticles. There's one paper doing something similar, yeah. sort of, but that's it. That was the only one we could find on the other Yeah, so this so, is actually yeah. new stuff we're doing. I think it really supports everything you do in A-level chemistry. Like refluxing with a PAG in chemistry A level but we already did it before so we knew how to do it. If you're, you're really enthusiastic about doing experiments and doing physical things and stuff, just learning stuff, it's really interesting. And don't be daunted by the chemistry initially because I know, I think we were. Yeah, well, um, definitely. Yeah, I think every, everyone is <laughs> and you're all in the same boat.